All right, number 11, this last one, uh, just to save time, we're going to do it with a calculator only. Um, it'll be quite a process doing it by hand. But the more you do it, you'll get faster. It does take a long time to explain it and do it, though. So we're going to do it by calculator. So <clears throat> it says um, in the solution, we're going to write our answer in format of W, X, Y, Z. So we have four variables in each equation and then we have a number so let me go ahead and write down the matrix so I need to get my screen up so you can kinda of see what's going on uh, shrink that down okay so the first row we have four W all right, we don't have any X's, okay? So I'm gonna do plus zero X. So you know, you need to know you need to put a zero for a placeholder for X. Zero X minus six Y, and then we have no Z, so plus zero Z. And it doesn't matter whether you put a plus or a minus, but zero, you just need to know it's there. Equals 14. <clears throat> and then we will have W minus X we don't have a Y here so plus 0 Y and then plus 2 Z equals negative 9 and then minus 4 W we don't have an X so plus 0 X and then minus 3 Y minus Z equals negative 1 and then the last row we don't have a W so 0 W plus X plus 3 Y no Z so plus 0 Z equals 0 alright so this is your equation uh, and again this will take a lot of time doing by hand that's why the matrix is much faster and we're going to do it with the technology I'm going to write the matrix down now we have one two three four rows and one two three four five columns so we have a four by five matrix this time that we're going to have this to solve I'm going to go ahead and insert everything right here by hand and then I'm going to put it in the calculator and then I'll flip over to just one screen so listing the coefficients only the numbers we have 4 0 negative 6 0 and then 14 then we're gonna have 1 negative 1 0 2 negative 9 then negative 4 0 negative 3 negative 1 negative 1 and then 0, 1, 3, 0, 0. So this is what we're going to be putting in the calculator for the matrix. All right. So let's do that now. Um, calculator. Turn it on. Second matrix. Go over to edit. Um, enter on A. And if you want to, you can enter B or whatever, but it doesn't matter. I always use the same one. <clears throat> All right, we're going to do four, enter, and then five. So we got a four by five. Now I'm going to put those numbers in four, enter, zero, enter, negative six, enter, zero, enter, and then 14. So that's row one. Now row two is one, enter, negative one, zero, two, and then negative nine. Um, negative 4 0 negative 3 and then negative 1 okay I hit minus and I'm not in the screen anymore let me go back second matrix didn't even notice I'm just typing numbers in so we got 4 by 5 good so the first row I think we got okay first row is good. Alright, so the second row was one, 
negative 1, 0, 2, negative 9. Okay, that was good. And then the next row, it should have been negative 4. I think I hit the minus and it took me out of it. Negative 4, 0, negative 3, negative 1, and then ne negative 1 again. All right, and then the fourth row, 0, just hit enter. Uh, one, three, zero, and zero. All right, verify everything is good. I think so. Second quit, second matrix, arrow over to math, arrow up to RREF for reduce row echelon form, enter, and then second matrix once more, and then just hit enter on A and enter to solve. All right, so notice, <clears throat> We have a one down the diagonal everywhere, so that means we're gonna get one solution. That means X, no, not X, W is two. X is three. Y, where this one is, is negative one. And um, Z, where this one is, is negative four. So this is our solution. Um, so we have one solution, and we're gonna insert our W, X, Y, and Z value. Come on. Okay, so in order, 2, 3, negative 1, negative 4. 2, 3, negative 1, negative 4. 